We'd like to thank you for attending today. We have a recorded uh, information session for those who can't make our regularly scheduled sessions. And we want to just give you an overview of what we're up to do, what the school is up, up to, and uh, what we really believe in. So first and foremost, uh, we're here to answer essentially a fundamental problem in education that's uh, persisting in the market. And that is that the uh, university system uh, which we very much like and support, is taking too much time, you know, four years to six years to get fully um, degreed and accredited uh, folks out into the market with user-centered design skills that are really very much in need today. And at the other end of the spectrum, we have workshops and boot camps and things of that nature, which a number of well-intended organizations are building these days as well. Um, but we don't think that that quite uh, gets people ready to functionally operate on uh, teams in business. And so we think there's something that needs to live in the middle. And that's what ADMCI School for Digital Craftsmanship is really all about. We're here to provide uh, structured uh, learning environments, both online and in person, and to provide a pathway for people to come and go from the learning experience as it's appropriate for their career. And so we have targeted uh, recent graduates from design programs, as well as career switching professionals, really from any background, you know, four or five years experience on up. Uh, and both, uh, both categories of people are very good for the program. So an overview for what we're looking at today, we're covering uh, this concept of infinite learning, which I alluded to in terms of how you kind of manage your learning process over the course of your career. Um, addressing real-world problems in order to learn more effectively, and pursuing a higher standard, in, especially in uh, digital crafts, if you will. And we'll talk about that in a little more detail. So in terms of infinite learning, if you think of what you've learned so far as essentially a unique fingerprint for how you've gathered your skills, um, the work and life experiences you've had, and so on, that makes up uh, essentially what you're capable of doing uh, and what you could do uh, in the future based on past experiences you've had. And we think that kind of a concept for the skills you've gathered uh, really has more relevance to communicating what you can and, and or could do versus a title or a degree or things of that nature. And so we really want to find ways to quantify and communicate uh, the learning process especially related to this convergence of design and technology and business. And so the School for Digital Craftsmanship has created the structure of foundations uh, in learning design thinking and uh, design processes, and then specific tracks for ongoing learning uh, throughout your career. So with foundations in uh, delivery, we're talking about things like uh, uh, applied interaction design, applied customer journey design, and so forth. A uh, 10 week uh, course that gets you uh, fully immersed in the life cycle of a design process uh, and working with live clients, which we'll talk about in a little more detail. From there, you can begin to specialize in any one or more of these tracks and build um, in concurrence with the mentor relationship essentially a uh, quantified path of, of learning and experience and start to coordinate that in a more proactive way with your, um, the business uh, you might be working with now or businesses you might want to work with in the future. So that's the overall structure for the learning experience. Um, the classes we're offering today uh, include, as I mentioned, interaction design and customer journey design. Both are offered in Chicago and St. Louis in person, and they're also both uh, offered as an online experience as well. The online experience is separate uh, from the in-person experience. We found that programs that attempt to merge both kind of uh, degrade uh, both for a common middle, and we think we can optimize uh, for the delivery experience itself. In addition to those um, uh, user-centered design core classes, we're also offering a content strategy class, uh, which is also 10 weeks and is available in Chicago and online and a mobile design class, which is really interaction design, but with specific focus on mobile devices. And again, uh, offered in person in Chicago and as well for anybody in the country online. And so those four courses really um, summarize the baseline foundations that I was talking about before. Um, but it's just good to know that there are additional learning experiences that could be happening 
longer term, uh, and we're developing those uh, along a variety of the tracks that we were looking at a moment ago. If we talk for a moment about the live client experience, um, one of the locations we're essentially embedded right now is in Chicago at a co-working space called 1871. And for uh, that relationship, we have the advantage of working with a number of what we would call second stage startups. So not companies that are just still trying to figure out who and what they do, uh, who they are and what they do, but uh, more so for companies who are kind of in their second stage. So they've probably gotten a comfortable amount of funding. Um, they've had some market success, but they need to determine where they're going in terms of validating uh, their uh, customer base uh, and the experiences their customers want to have or uh, confirming uh, interactions uh, in a B2B environment and so forth. And so we have a portfolio of live clients who are available to our classes and those clients essentially apply to us in the same way you might as a student. But the businesses apply to have um, their business challenges worked on by teams from our classes. And so the advantage here is that you get to work on live client uh, uh, activities and then you will have legitimate portfolio materials coming out of the classwork so that you can present this to current or future employers as uh, work you've completed and uh, more than likely um, referenceable uh, work as well so that uh, the client or uh, in most cases um, our instructors or mentors also will vouch for the work you've done. So it's really very, very valuable in terms of building out portfolio assets. Well, we also think that learning happens in a much more uh, rapid and effective way when you're dealing with live experiences as opposed to theoretical or out of the book experiences. And so that has a significant amount of bearing on the learning experience as well. Uh, we have co-working relationships in St. Louis, and we also have live client uh, opportunities in other regions as well. And we're happy to talk about those more specifics as those come up. Uh, finally, in terms of pursuing the higher standard, we just want to touch on the fact that there is a sense of, of uh, craftsmanship uh, that has obviously existed for hundreds of years in the material uh, arts, let's say, and even in the material uh, industrial uh, areas of, of the economy, but perhaps a little less so in the digital area. And so we think that if we're really going to pursue something great, we need to be establishing this kind of concept where we're building a world for the people coming behind us, if you will, if our parents and grandparents built the infrastructure we're living on, we're all building a, a virtual infrastructure that our children and grandchildren will live on. And so this is a design of, you know, arguably time and space when you're building interfaces and building how uh, markets connect with one another. It's fairly profound work. And so we really want to be pursuing a higher standard in that regard and establishing those standards for repeatability and accountability. And so we look at the world as everybody's a designer. So if you're a business person, you're a technologist, um, really no matter your background, you're, you're designing stuff every day. And there's uh, a process to that and a methodology that provides a language. And that's really what uh, uh, the School for Digital Craftsmanship is looking to do, to provide a common language and provide um, companies with the ability to reinvent themselves, uh, improve themselves, uh, integrate processes in, in entirely new ways, or reinvent markets even. So that's really uh, what we're doing, and that uh, language of design really is what's going to drive uh, higher likelihood for innovation and so forth. And finally, we might say that uh, Chicago uh, and the Midwest in particular is a great place for this sort of uh, focus to be born. You know, we've built um, schools of architecture and schools of economics and so forth that have emerged from the city and, and uh, others nearby. And we really think it's time for some uh, an ethos of digital craftsmanship to be born here. And we're looking to get uh, anyone who's interested and motivated, involved in ADMTI School for Digital Craftsmanship to help contribute to that. So that's really what we're out to do. But we'd love to talk more because it's pre-recorded. Obviously, I can't take questions, um, but we'd be more than happy to take them uh, as a follow-up. So please feel free to email me directly. Uh, you can also tweet at us and or call me directly. And of course, if I've been uh, persuasive here. We'd love to have you apply uh, directly and start that uh, interviewing process as well. You can reach us at admci.org slash apply. Look forward to talking and uh, very much appreciate your time and uh, considering our program. Thank you very much.